thought I'd show you how I duplicate my native beehive, which is different from splitting it, where you get a new box and just stick half a new box on the old box. The tools that I was using, pretty simple, just a knife, a screwdriver for leverage, uh, and gaffer tape. I never have enough. I've uh, removed the old box from its star picket, and I've just got it sitting next to the new box. And I've got a uh, tomato trellis there just to lift up the hive, which we're about to put into the new box. I've changed my dimensions for this box. I've made it slightly larger. I've gone 30 centimeters long by 20 centimeters high. And I've also got a beekeeper's hat. Can't recommend the bee hat highly enough unless you enjoy bugs in your Most of it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just running that knife around through the bee wax at the moment. I'm splitting that in half. You can sort of feel it give. Uh, lift it up and there's a bunch of honey in there and a bunch of pollen and some angry bees. So I'm going to move that, try and get that uh, half that hive out into the new box. So we'll take a quick look what's inside. You can see the comb. It's where the bees hatch from in the middle and the honey and the pollen to the sides. If you want to know more about that, uh, I went to Tim Hurd's um, presentation from the CSIRO. Can't recommend that highly enough. He explains that there's a spiral pattern in there and how the breeding cycle starts from top to bottom and that's why you can split the hives because when you split, um, there's bees in the top and bees in the bottom and they'll rebuild. So you can see my current box I'm working on is uh, a split box. Two boxes of the same dimension, cut in half, put the new box on top or bottom. Just got to get that lid off so that I can um, drop that component of the hive into the new box. Unfortunately I nailed that lid on so this took uh, a fair bit longer than I thought. In total it took me 30 minutes uh, to split this box, or sorry, duplicate it. I did this one at 5am because um, I've done three splits now and uh, the last two I did at night time and you wake those bees up and they've, they've still got a bit of heat in their hives. They're uh, far more active and far more aggressive. Obviously they can't sting you but they can swarm you. Um, and pinching in your ears and eyes is not something you probably want to experience so I recommend doing it at the early hours of the morning. I try and do it once a year, not to put too much stress on the hive. Uh, out of the three I've done, one has failed, and I can't tell you why. I think it's the, the location seemed to take off and then just die in the end. You can see the hive, new hive, sitting on um, the trestle. That's just to get it up out of the honey, and there's a hole drilled in the bottom of my new box. I use the dimensions uh, from Tim's website, and I hope you can put a super hive on. That's the old box on its star picket. Any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Thanks, guys.